Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Claude have just released a new API for Sonnet, and one of the big features is computer use. So the ability for Claude to interact with your computer. Currently it's only in the API, so you can't just log into the Claude site and use it. But already people are starting to do some pretty interesting things. Here we have a tweet from Ethan Mollick. It's also up on LinkedIn for those of you that do not want to interact with X or Twitter. And he is showing Claude playing Magic the Gathering on the MTG Arena game. Not 100% sure yet if this was his own coding or if he has found it somewhere. I've actually reached out to try and find some more details. But we can see here from his tweet, and I'll link it up in the video description, that Claude is having a pretty good crack at Magic the Gathering, which is one of the most complex games that an AI can try and attack. Whilst there have been different versions of bots that have tried to play before, this is something that really looks like it's taking it to a whole new level. So let's have a look at this video that he's posted, and we can see over on the left hand side there's a Windows PowerShell that's ticking away there with Claude analyzing what's going on. So the action that's getting taken, if you did want to try and recreate this, is to take screenshots, and then we can see there is one scrolling up the screen. Screenshot. Based on the screenshot, it is analyzing what's going on. It's coming up with a plan. And then we can see the mouse move and mouse click actions that it's taking after that. Now admittedly, for those of you that know Magic the Gathering, Mono Red is probably one of the slightly less thoughtful archetypes of Magic the Gathering. Also they are playing against Sparky, which is the built-in bot. So they're not playing against another human as well. Which is probably a good thing because they are a wee bit on the slow side. So far we can see, if you know the game, it has made quite reasonable moves. So that's as far as the video goes. I'll link up the tweet so you can have a watch yourself. And also you can see the commentary and back and forth. As I said before, I'm trying to get access to this myself. It is a game that I've played, in fact even played on the Pro Tour. And I'm pretty curious to see how well Claude does and seeing whether changing the prompting can make a difference in how well it can play the game. From the snippet, it was doing well up until this very last point that I've paused here on where it's trying to cast a spell. So we can see over on the left hand side, now let's cast and crash through, but it's lands are tapped, it's not actually able to cast a spell. So it's trying to take an inappropriate game maneuver. Up until that point though, it seemed to be doing pretty well. Ethan makes the comment himself that maybe a little bit more prompting might help it to be even smoother. We've also got to remember that this Claude functionality has only been around for about a day or two and already people are using it to be able to play complex games. So I just wanted to share the little snippet because I thought it was pretty interesting, pretty exciting, really showing the direction where things are going. Definitely as I get updates on hopefully maybe even access or if I get a bit of time to try and build something like this myself, I'll be sharing it with you. Thanks for watching. I'll be back really soon with more videos on AI research stats and random stuff.